Hi, everybody. We are in Fall City, and we're learning more about a place where you can see some amazing art. And joining me now is Tootie Evil and Sharon Ming. How long has this uh, art gallery been around here? The gallery has been in Fall City since 2016. We've been in this location since 2017. Who is behind the art gallery? Is it the uh, Fall City Artists Association you mentioned? Yes, the members that started the gallery were all part of the Art Association. The gallery is actually owned by the Art Association. Sharon, what are people going to experience when they come in here? Lots of different types of art, uh, acrylic, watercolor, we have ceramics, uh, just different things that people have made. Behind you there's um, baskets that are handmade. We draw from Nebraska, Kansas, and Missouri. Different artists bring their art in and rent space here to uh, sell. Tootie, I know you've been doing art for a long time here in Falls City. Uh, do you teach art here? Yes, I do some special workshops and a weekly class. Could you teach me how to do art? If you're the least creative, we can teach you. Just do not try and draw cars and houses. It looks like uh, you do some wonderful work. I see some of your work on the wall here. Sharon, Falls City really is a special town. It has a lot of art in it. I think everyone's really proud of the gallery. Uh, people like will send people over here because it's really interesting to see the art. And it's kind of a surprise, it's a gem, where you just come in and you're amazed by just the different types of art and there's some good talent in this area. Judy's classes have helped me. You know, I wanted to get into art and she just helped me to where I could start framing things and putting them on the wall and selling them. So. We draw people in from all around for the different workshops. This really adds to the quality of life here in the community, would you say? Yes, I think so. We have a lot of people at retirement age that have taken up art. Plus, we have some girls from the local college at Peru that are displaying art. What is the future of the gallery? Well, we would love to really expand with the community and we'd really like to uh, draw more people in for workshops. Um, we just became a 501c3 last summer, so we're hoping that we could find a grant that we are compatible with that would help us out with expanding. We'd love to open up the back of the gallery. We have lots of room and this building has a lot of room where we could possibly even have artist lofts. We are trying to expand the arts here and make it the city of art, so people would really want to come here as a destination. Tootie and Sharon, thank you very much for joining me here and telling me about the Heartland Fine Arts Gallery. Appreciate your time. Thank you.